as the New York Times to kind of update on the unfortunate passing of uh, Duante Wright I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he pronounced his name so the good news is concerning this the officer that was involved in the shooting of Duante Wright has resigned as did the chief of police I mentioned this previously in another episode that I was of course upset about the passing of Duante Wright and you know forcing feelings go out to his family but I was also just couldn't understand why in this instance why the officer was put on administrative leave which essentially would mean should get paid whilst um the invest whilst the incident was being investigated um when you consider how egregious the whole incident was and also when you consider the proximity of what happened there to what's happened what happened earlier um or what happened last year with george floyd in minnesota um just in terms of bad pr they should have just you know unfortunately made the police officer be a sacrificial lamb and kind of just booed her out and kind of got moving the fact that the police chief had to come up in front of the press and have that car crash interview that didn't make him look too great because i guess he was just probably taken aback at that situation didn't know what to say and didn't really um give a good account of himself or his leadership or yeah uh, yeah leadership or the team that he was kind of obviously um leading there in that police force and then of course the woman herself you know she just probably just handed in her badge as soon as that kid drove away or as soon as it was kind of confirmed the kid was not alive anymore um but you know uh it didn't happen at that time it still happened anyway regardless so i can't be begrudging that and it is just quite a little bit of a it does provide a little bit of respite not obviously a lot because still somebody's lost their son father brother sister best friend through just pure stupidity but at least we have some precedent being set for a police person a police officer for the most part taking responsibility and saying hey i made a mistake which was obviously fatal but i'm taking ownership for it i'm re i'm kind of resigning and going from there which was obviously good to see in that regard but still probably a little bit too late we continue here so it says here um kim porter the police officer in brooklyn center minnesota who fatally shot duante right on sunday has resigned from the police department her union said um in a statement on tuesday uh, the city's police chief tim gannon also announced that he was departing in a letter that miss porter sent to city officials on tuesday she said that she was resigning immediately the union said she said the following i have loved every minute of being a police officer and serving the community to the best of my ability but i believe it is the best interest of the community and department and my fellow officers if i resign immediately for sure because imagine she's probably putting everyone else at risk as well in it if she stays in the force you never know what people are going to do in terms of you know assaulting police officers that they see in the street you know fire bombing the flipping station itself like people are insane when it comes to this sort of stuff in the states which understandably so but it definitely if you if you're kind of looking out for your friends and not just yourself then it probably makes sense to do this um, it continues the union law enforcement service labor services represents more than 6,400 members throughout minnesota miss porter 48 had been an officer with the brooklyn center police for 26 years now fair enough right the, the details i'm not too sh sure on i'm not too sure if she actually had a taser that was yellow because everything i'm seeing online people are saying oh how can you not tell the difference between a handgun that's black and a taser that's yellow and they're both really different in terms of shape right even in grip of the handle you could tell which was which just by a little just glance or just by a little just touch you could tell so i'm not too sure if that's the case but even if they were the same color even if one was you know un in her sock being a police officer of 26 years i would just assume you've learned some things and you gleaned some things and you've de developed a keen sort of sixth sense of stuff that occurs around you right you can tell if who's shady who's shifty who needs to be investigated who needs to be pulled over um where's my stuff where's my taser where's my gun you should be able to do that and the fact that she didn't i would i would argue it's probably clear evidence that this probably isn't the first time you look at through her record i'm pretty sure she has other instances in her career as a police officer where she's kind of made a very clumsy and uh idiotic mistake for somebody as experienced as her for sure this doesn't just happen out of the blue it's impossible i refuse to believe it um 26 year veteran cop and you just suddenly mistaken um you know which uh weapon to pull out of to pull out from your waistband when you want to stop somebody it just doesn't make any sense it continues she said she first um she she was the first licensed as a police officer in minnesota in 1995 and graduated from the saint mary college in winner in winona minnesota 994 where the criminal justice mayor schools official said um or major sorry 
until her resignation, she had been placed in the Ministry of Leave within the Department of the Shooting of the Right 20. Um, in a news conference on Monday, Chief Gannon said he believed that Miss watching Miss Body Cam footage that she was attempting to use a taser on Miss Wright and pulled her fire and said killing him bloody insane isn't it? and you know just to kind of gratify the whole thing we've obviously got a picture of her on the mugshot there and <clears throat> i don't know man i maybe because i'm getting older and i've just got a heart i don't get any glee from this i think everybody's lives and this has been completely uh irrevocably ir 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 whatever it's been called irreversibly changed for the worst right um 26 year veteran officer who's probably been able to scoot along being mediocre and not being that great of a job suddenly your life gets turned upside down suddenly everyone attached to you has also got their life upside down the family of the victim it's just you know distra distraught to think about especially when you think of the stories about you know Dante Wright's mum calling him when he was getting pulled over and then having some sort of argument or back and forth about him not running it's just heartbreaking stuff for everybody involved this is a complete shit show and again the heart of the issue is of course Dante Wright shouldn't have ran that's the first thing if he wouldn't have ran this probably would have never happened but still there needs to be a conversation around how police do their job in the states there has to be a conversation around that there needs to be how these guys do their jobs in the states is just it's just insane that there's so many bad ones, right? That's the issue. Everyone's always oh, one bad apple, whatever. Okay, cool. Well, however many bad apples you are, there's too many, especially when it comes to um, using flipping deadly force. That's the thing that's really odd. Because it's one thing if they, inc you know, in incorrectly ar arrest you for a crime because you look like somebody that they're sort of on the lookout for. That's one thing, right? I don't know, mistakes happen. But for it to come into a situation where they're trying to arrest you for that you know alleged assault whatever it is that they've mistaken you to be the guy to be the perpetrator for you make some wrong move because you're nervous and you you've seen all the, what you've seen on social with people dying at the hands of police officers and you're like white and black wherever they are you get nervous and you, you flinch suddenly that could be your life gone completely because they don't shoot to they don't shoot to wound they don't shoot to disable they shoot to kill for the most part and i guess that's the rules in the rule book right they always have they always kind of aim for center mass never in the leg elbow shoulder whatever it's always center mass just to take you completely out um yeah i don't know man i don't know but again good news in that regard that kim Co that kim porter resigned of her own volition which again is something i was pushing for when i first heard this story and now she's being charged with second degree manslaughter which probably is an, a, a charge that i'll probably end up sticking and even if, even if it doesn't they're probably going to end up throwing under the bus because, you know, of the how fraught the situation is in the States, especially if what you are led to believe is true from people in the know with the George Floyd case that allegedly um, Derek Chauvin might end up getting off and not being charged um, at all for the murder of George Floyd, which would be absolutely insane if that happens. But if that does happen, unfortunately, Kim Paul will have to be the second, Kim Potter, Kim Potter, not Porter, Kim Potter will have to be the sacrificial lamb and she'll definitely get thrown under the bus and some. Um, if it comes to that conclusion but hey what can you do what can you